I was recently at a fascinating blockchain conference organized by Data. Very different crowd than in real estate, much cooler. But I learned something really interesting. Try to follow me. A blockchain is like a digital ledger shared across thousands of computers. Every transaction is recorded, locked and added to a chain. So no one can cheat or change it. No middleman like a bank is needed anymore. Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and stablecoins operate on this blockchain technology. Let's focus on stablecoins. These are digital currencies designed to keep a stable value, usually pegged to something like the US dollar. The total stablecoin market is now over $300 billion and more than 99% are dollar denominated. Here's the fascinating part. Most stablecoins invest their reserves in US treasuries. Now have a look at the chains in US debt by foreign holders. The Cayman Islands, France, Luxembourg, Belgium, Singapore and the UK were the top six buyers in 2024. With Tether, the world's largest stablecoin with about 58% market share, ranked number 7, while some traditional buyers like China and Japan have been selling. So in a way, people in Latin America and Asia using stablecoins to protect their savings or move money are now indirectly funding the US government. As all buyers step back, a new digital generation is stepping in. And that could quietly influence bond yields, equities and yes, real estate.